Welcome back, everyone. Toysh is here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look, courtesy of my friends over at Lone Coconut. And today, this is actually pretty cool. I'm totally checking out their brand new Plunderlings action figure. That was an immensely successful Kickstarter, so congratulations to them for that. This one in particular is Nomad Goyle, and they're little tiny little dudes. I love the packaging on this. Most of all, this is great. Little crates, little monsters inside, right? And shout out to at want3drabbit on Instagram. Guy came up with the packaging for this. And if I was a toy company, I would definitely be looking to hire this guy. This is wonderful packaging, very involved, just emulates of what Plunderlings seems to be, these little creatures in a box. So this is gonna be fun. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new Plunderlings action figures by Lone Coconut. Oh, hold on one second. Inside the box is the story behind these. And this is actually pretty cool. The toys were constructed and hand painted with great care. And it says to please carefully loosen the joints after unboxing. You may need to apply heat with a hairdryer as most toys these days do, so whatever. We hope playing with these brings you the same joy and happiness we felt while making them. We are extremely grateful to the fans that brought this project to life. This is also cool, and again, harkening back to the box designer, there are ears inside the packaging, which on the sides of the box you can see are little slits, and you simply just fit the ears right in there. They can stick to the inside of the box if you want and the box turns into a mini version of the Plunderling we have. Very well done, just execution is fantastic. And again, sit back, relax, yada yada, let's open these up. And here's everything out of the box, and I have to tell you that this would be, for me at least, a complete figure. You got the figure itself painted nicely, you got interchangeable heads, little hook, which I'm sure does something, multiple weapons, couple hands, an accessory, little toad kind of guy. So it's an all complete little package. This very much reminds me of like a video game I've never played or a cartoon I've never seen. Something about it just harkens back also to the 80s, like with Pet Rock or Boglins. Very much that nostalgia factor while being something incredibly new and interesting. It has got joints for days, really nice paint overall. You can see little nuances, little shades here and there on the arms. Purple cape action going on. I'm probably wondering that's where the hook goes that he comes with. He's got a little plunderling butt. <laughs> That's funny. That's not since the McFarlane butt have we had a butt like that so pronounced. Shading in the ears, shading on the knees and such too. I wonder if there's shading on the elbows. Let's see, that would make... Ah, there is! That's cool. Okay, so, you know, just little elements of paint to kind of bring him to life a little bit. So I appreciate that. Now, I'm told there are magnets in the head. That's interesting. So you can, if you have multiple different plunderlings, you can swap out hairstyles, hoods, whatnot. The articulation on this guy for the small figure he is, is great. The head rotates, looks up really nicely, looks down. You can see the back of it. It is fairly crisp in the back. You know, not a lot, a huge amount of gappage. So that's cool, especially with the little cape right here. So I think that really adds to it. He does have some nice joint swivel in the arm. Swivels at the elbow as well, and he has a single joint there. The wrists will swivel, they'll turn. He's got some nice joint. I'm noticing that there, you know, there's not really any paint fleckage at all either. He has an upper diaphragm rotation joint to him. He'll rock back and forth, he'll twist. You get some nice movement out of him going back and going forward. So that's cool. He does have like, I would say a little bit of instance of a gut. He does not spin at the actual waist. So you'll have to rely on the upper joint for that. Now, I will say, just be careful. Like they said, heat up some of the joints. I had no problems with it. He'll have thigh rotation. He is kind of a little stuck in the knees. He does have double jointed knees. So again, just be careful when you're doing it. And he has some nice foot articulation, rotation, ball joint. It's great. I am thoroughly impressed by the amount of articulation they got out of this little plunderling guy. So that is very cool to see. To swap the heads, you can actually you kind of see the magnet in there. That's actually pretty cool. So again, if you want to swap out hairstyles and things like that with other plunderling figures that you can get and just swap the heads evenly. I like the smirk on him. Some paint flex here and there. Now I did try this out beforehand. I put the little hood on him and it left some paint 
but when trying it with other heads, it didn't. So it just kind of messed that one up just a little bit. Kind of just take the head off to get the cape on. Let's go ahead and put this hook on there so I can show you how that works. And it simply just clips right in there. Now, th I would say for my luck, take the cape off. If you want to do this, you kind of have to force it in there. It's not difficult. It does stay rather nicely. So just kind of pops in there. And now you can apply the sword, which I'll show you in just a second. It just clips on there. The hood right here, I did have some instances of the paint rubbing off onto that one head. You can see the magnet at the top as well. That helps keep it in place. Although I have to say, once you get it on, you really have no problem and you can swap it out between any of the heads and you kind of just open it up just like this. Just go careful. You don't want to tear or rip anything in the plastic and it just slips right onto each of the three heads. So once you got everything going, just go ahead and put the cape back on, pop the head on. Everything pops in rather nicely. There's no really having to pull things or put a lot of force to them, but it's also not loose as well. These are very cool swords. They're very Legend of Zelda-ish, you know, like the cell shaded kind of deal. And the hands hold them really nicely. They're a little bit gummy, but they're very, very sturdy. And then also you can put the sword in the back right here. Go easy on this as well. I would say you don't want to hit it wrong or, you know, move it wrong and then break the clip. It is malleable. You're not going to have a problem, but just be careful. That's my advice because it's something that I would thought may happen eventually. So just be careful on that. Out of the case, you got a really nice looking plunderling figure. And he does come with multiple hands in the sense of these are open, not much pressure applied. They simply just swap out, peg them in, and you got an outstretched hand. You know, maybe he's asking for something. Maybe he's coming for you. That's cool. I definitely like the amount of character that just the simplicity of the accessories bring this guy to life. A little bit of a, a little frog painted nicely, little white eyes on him. And... Either you got the weapon hand or you can use this hand and he's just holds him perfectly. So again, very cool to have these in hand. The heads are all different, which is a nice thing. And they're all very different from one another. I like the more open mouth, the teeth showing. I think that's kind of fun. So in either case, well done figures. I got to give it to him on this. Very professional. Very much that you would see these on store shelves. And I think that a lot of people would love to see these on store shelves, especially with the customizability of them, the interchangeability, the weapons, hairstyles, capes, what have you. There's different colors to these things. There's clear plastic, there's glow in the dark. So in either case, I wish them the best with this. I really think that they should turn this into a cartoon or a video game, something to that extent, because these are very fun toys. Pairing him up, now he's around the four inch mark. You can see Marvel Legends, McFarlane Toys. He is of the smaller type figure. So let's say Neca Krang and Palisades. Dib, yeah, he'll work. He's a tinier figure, but he works around that six and seven inch scale. So that's really gonna wrap it up for my look at this brand new Plunderling figure. And thank you again to everyone at Lone Coconut for sending this guy over to give you guys this fresh look. To be quite honest with you, this is not necessarily my thing. I can respect a great, fantastically designed toy, and I'll tell you that all day. It's wonderful, and it was a lot of fun to kind of sit down in the morning. I poured myself a cup of coffee and just kind of looked and explored the different variations, the different looks that you can get with this guy. It's a complete package, and each of them, no matter which one you get, really does look to be that. While it's not necessarily my thing, I see a lot of people enjoying these and I think that they would be right up your alley. Even if you have one, he will be on my desk as a permanent fixture because I think that that's where it really shines. I think he's a fun little toy to kind of change the looks and have fun with. But if you have a group of them, yeah, I think that's going to be great as well. But I'm curious to know what you guys think about these Plunderling toys. Did you support the Kickstarter? Are you jonesing for them now? Do you wish you got them? Tell Lone Coconut what you feel. Go see him on Instagram and tell him you want more of these toys. So I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember, when it comes to any type of toy, whether you buy it in the store or kickstart it, what have you, it doesn't mean that it's any less a toy and you know it's going to be fun. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.